just like that. Do what? Good job. Snagged or oh, lassoed him. I'm just gonna sit up here and video. This big keep He's close. Uh, he's a little short. Oh, it white trout? Yeah. Got a white trout. I told you to change you down. I 
Big trout. Yeah, I caught a short one too just a second ago. box up for them. It probably don't matter, but well, after we bit the whole summer bitch in the thing. Yeah. Hey, if we run out of sharp shakes from the job, I got them dying there, we just did Got a little triple tail. Here we go. Ain't he cute though? <laughs> yeah. Look like y'all. Got yours. Damn. It's going back that way. But they ain't, I mean, it's, it's the wind, it's not the current. It's really not all any current, it's just the wind blowing. Caught you one. They all about the same size, though. You don't, you don't think that's the one you saw? He
Same side then. It's a good one though. Where I need to go. No, I missed that part of it. How big is he? Pretty good. You mean to put him in there or no? There you go. But I was just going to go over real quick kind of our, our rig that we were using because, man, anybody can do this. The oyster bars down there aren't hard to find. You kind of got to know a little bit about how to run around down there in Apalachicola Bay. But um, a lot of oyster bars are marked, you know, with poles. And, man, using these little clicker corks. I use a splash cork a good bit. Hunter uses clicker a lot. I think the clicking actually attracts the trout better than the old popping cork because it seems like you catch more catfish under that popping cork than you do when you do trout sometimes and they don't seem to you don't seem to catch as many catfish with this clicking cork i don't know may just be me but um but definitely hunter caught a lot more trout using this and um he was using i mean just a quarter ounce jig head i don't know the color really matters on the jig head they do love chartreuse whether it's just a chartreuse tail or just a full chartreuse swim bait. They love that color down there. So that's kind of what he was using. Had it on braid with a floral carbon coated mono from the cork to the jig because trout can be kind, kind of finicky. So we use that, but that floral carbon coated line, man, definitely holds up. It's a lot more abrasive resistant on those oysters and it holds up a lot better. Again, man, just like a quarter to a half ounce, depending on the current and the depth. And these kale hooks, man, if you're not using the kale hook, you should be. Because they definitely, the hookup ratio is great on those things. You know, just about a two foot liter. Again, using that floral carbon coated mono, just because it's dragging around in those oysters a lot. It just holds up a lot better. And we caught some pogies. We're using some live bait, had some pogies and some shrimp. But fishing on bottom, sometimes only up in the day when they quit hitting those corks good, you can go to that bottom rig with a shrimp or a pogey and um, you know and keep catching them. But we mostly use that a lot up in the rivers too, just fishing on bottom for the sheephead and the redfish.